scientists say that one of the traits marking the evolutionary success of an animal is its lack of specialization at mealtimes, since this means it won't depend on just one source of food for sustenance. If so, man is certainly one of the most evolved animals on the face of the earth. We eat everything. We're omnivorous and crave everything. The problem, though, is that to enjoy certain treats, we need some utensils, some of which are quite sophisticated and associated with a highly advanced culture. We'll be discovering that animals have been using these tools much before we ever invented good table manners. Despite the advantages of feeding on everything, those who specialize in a particular type of food also have some things in their favor. Eating hard objects, for example, since this means you won't have much competition. To be able to do this, however, you need very specific tools. Every type of diet requires its own particular type of cutlery. To understand what we're talking about, you only have to observe birds' beaks. The pelican's bill is one of the most amazing beaks in comparison to other species. The pelican uses the stretchable pouch hanging from the underside of its bill as a sort of shopping bag. It enables it to catch many morsels every time it goes fishing. Pelicans spend a lot of time in the air looking for their prey. From their bird's eye view, they can find those schools of fish where they can use their ingenious beaks to their best advantage. Because of their huge weight, a lot of effort is spent in taking off from the water. Thanks to wholesale fishing, they don't have to dive as often. The pelican's large spoon certainly enables it to save a lot of time and energy. It's not necessary to have a very developed brain to invent a soup ladle. Nevertheless, its simplicity does not diminish its usefulness. Although fish soup can be quite delicious and nutritious, some wouldn't think twice when given the choice of red meat. Nothing could be messier at lunchtime than eating a steak with a blunt knife. Carnivores have something in common. A good set of sharp steak knives to enable them to gorge without any cutting problems. In the animal world, the small mustelids certainly use their knife-like fangs to the best advantage. Although their size prevents them from competing with large carnivores, they don't hesitate in attacking large and dangerous prey. The polecat's excellent sense of smell has led it to a burrow occupied by an old rat. The rodent is caught unaware resting in his den and is not able to escape. Both animals unsheathe their knives in a quick fight where the speed of each bite is going to make all the difference. The mustelid has succeeded in sinking its fangs between the rodent's vertebra and has broken its spine. The fight is over. Now the polecat can eat its meat. Thanks to its incisive canine and molar teeth, each bite is easily processed. Nothing beats a good set of cutlery.
The solifuge does not eat dirt. It's simply digging with its large mandibles. By dusk, before the sun is set, it will have finished digging a hole where it will hide until it gets dark. The ground can offer little resistance to its serrated pincers. Although this is not their main function. Now that it's dark, it's time to hunt. Although its gait may seem unsteady, it's just being guided by its sensitive chemical and tactile detectors. With its first set of legs up in the air, it smells its surroundings and feels a presence nearby. The search has been successful. Its chelicerae are now performing the task for which they were designed, to crush and grind the body of its prey to a pulp so that the solifuge can readily digest it. Although insects are covered by a hard layer of chitin, similar to the shells of crustaceans that protects them from many attacks, solifugae have succeeded in developing instruments that can easily destroy these defenses. Enjoying delicacies often requires a lot of work. The strange solifuge's pincers enables it to do this quite easily. For a large feast, nothing can be better than gulping it down with good wine. This is not just a question of gastronomic pleasure. Drinking good wine in moderation can be very beneficial. If we observe snakes, we can see that there's nothing better for preventing indigestion than to drink something that helps the stomach in digesting a meal. Although most aphidians cannot be considered truly poisonous, many have glands in their mouths that store digestive toxins. However, they do not use these poisons to hunt. They don't need them.